Good morning. So I want to tone up my call. What's the best thing to do? Any tips on this? So consider that in terms of toning up the core muscles, if you are referring to this as the look of it and the, the aesthetics, if you like, in terms of I want to tone up my tummy, slimmer really, then what we're actually referring to here is losing body fat. Because actually I can guarantee that if you are doing some kind of exercise, whether that's resistance and even to a sense some aerobic cardio work, you will actually have muscles under them. You just might not be able to see them at the moment. They might be, you might have excess body fat, for example. And actually, one thing we've got to look at here is if we want to tone up our core, what does tone actually mean? And tone means one, losing body fat, two, increasing muscle. So this is where it comes down to can we combine calorie deficit to lose body fat whilst doing some type of core strength and exercise. And the core strength and exercise, yes, you could go more into that with more specific core exercises like, like a plank, like um, practicing maybe some core work from the floor. A variety of moves that when done well and properly and not putting loads of pressure on the lower back can be effective at strengthening on the floor. That won't necessarily make it look different though and cause that toning up effect without the fact that's going on at the same time. But equally, you could get a toned core by doing some resistance exercise where your core is always supporting you by default. For example, a squat, a deadlift, where you're embracing yourself with the core the whole time. Yeah, it might be a leg dominant move, but your core is always being engaged. A bench press, a push, a pull, a sled push, whatever it is. So there's lots of ways that you can strengthen the core. But at the same time, if you want to create that more toned look, there has to be a calorie deficit to lose the body fat, because that's just going to show the muscle. Just like um, in other areas of the body, you might have quite muscly arms, and after dropping some body fat, it might appear that you've put on more muscle. However, you actually haven't, you've actually just lost body fat. And I'll give you an example of this. Take like a, I used to do um, natural bodybuilding and physique stuff, and I used to be quite big, quite quite muscly, and then when I would do a show, I would get really lean. And the funny thing is, I would lose a load of weight, and people would say, wow, Matt, you are massive at the moment, you've put on so much muscle, and actually it's like, no, I've actually just lost 15 kilograms, and now you can see my muscle. It was there before, now it's just more defined, so I appear more toned, I appear more muscly. People say, what's so big, what are you doing at the moment? I was like, just, I've just lost, actually lost body fat, so you can see it more, so it's more defined. So I hope that gives you a bit more of a picture of it. And, and yes, do some core exercises, do always engage in core, everything you do, even when you're walking, can you suck in, can you vacuum the stomach? I love saying that. Vacuum the stomach, suck in, have the core work, great, strengthen the core, with Pilates work, yoga work, stomach work, whatever it is, that's great. But at the same time, a calorie deficit is going to help you show that as well. Now, unfortunately, you can't choose where you lose fat from, so it's a long-winded battle, if you like. But one that if you can find a sustainable plan to help you do that, that's going to be the best way forward. So I hope that helps. Any questions on that, do let me know, and I'll see you soon.